welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Breaking medical news in the feces world. I could take this opportunity and, and make a poop joke or a feces pun, but I won't. I'm gonna take the high road on this. And I'm gonna tell you about how in the US alone, more than 500,000 people suffer and 15,000 people die every year from uncontrollable diarrhea caused by an infection called Clostridium difficile. Really proud of you, Lee. Reporting an actual problem that could face a stigma because of its possible hilarious subject matter. But it's true, when Clostridium difficile goes unchecked, toxins produced by bacteria cause inflammation and can lead to holes in the intestines and even death. And most strains of C. diff are becoming resistant to drugs, rivaling the more prominent superbugs. Now, one of the solutions to this, albeit not a pretty one, is fecal bacteriotherapy, or stool transplant, which is basically taking donor-healthy feces and inserting it into the gut of an infected person. Sure, that treatment sounds like a fake one. Chalk it up there with leaching and lobotomies. But the process does genuinely replace the protective floor that's missing in most people with serious problems. Of course, most people out there aren't necessarily stoked about shoving someone else's bowel movements into their rectums or down their throats, which is unfortunately literally how it's done. But now researchers at the University of Guelph, I'm, I'm sorry, that's, that's a typo, it's actually Guelph. Uh, mm -hmm. University of Guelph have developed a more sanitary way of achieving the same result, but with a synthetic feces. The researchers have developed an artificial feces aptly named repopulate. Oh, uh, sorry, I think you, I think you mean repopulate, and it's a typo. I'll just take it again. No, 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 uh -uh, no. It's actually called repopulate. Oh, uh, um. Yeah. Real name, Repopulate. I'm gonna maintain my dignity and not comment on the name Repopulate at all. You sure? Because it's called Repopulate. <coughs> to to I'm totally fine with the name choice. Okay, really? Come on, it's called Repopulate! I didn't say anything about how explosive diarrhea left people in a crappy situation. I didn't call you a party pooper for not letting me do any poop puns. Or having poo replacement therapy could really put you in the dumps. I genuinely feel like commenting on something this ridiculous is our duty. <laughs> I mean, covering a story like this is a messy job, but someone's gotta do it. You done? Yes. Turd! Now, the repopulate process essentially grows 33 different bacteria from healthy volunteers in a robotic stomach to create a super probiotic stool substitute. And patients showed marked improvement and were C. diff free for months afterward, which is very promising. And there's less potential for harmful bacteria. But right now, repopulate is a breakthrough. You get it? <laughs> breakthrough? Glad to see you back, Morgan. It's poop! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> yes. Oh man. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna have to do this one a second time. Number uh. two. Oh, oh. Ah! Take two with the Ooh, best. Take boat. two. Take number two. <laughs> Woo! So guys, how would this process change your life? Let us know in the comment sections down below. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, click this annotation for our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Guess we're gonna have to bow out. <laughs> Come on.